impatient, sometimes lazy, often overreaching, hard-headed, and sometimes overly emotional. Those are the five words that describe the fault in my own character. Some things I discovered while trying out this self-prescribed know thyself project. See, a couple of months ago, I talked about the importance of self-awareness, but I did not share with you how to become self-aware. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Learning our faults through knowing thyself. In three, two, one, go. What's up, Brooklyn and the rest of the world watching? It's Irene here, your injured trainer from Be Buff Wellness. And in today's video, we're talking about knowing thyself. Learning who you are deep down inside in a real and honest way. Now, know thyself is a philosophical phrase that was etched into the Temple of Apollo at Delphi over in the beautiful land of Greece. There is some debate about who penned the phrase first, about what exactly it means. A lot of people attribute it to Socrates, but no one really knows for sure. And really, it's not important for this video. So today, I'm gonna share with you how I have achieved that over time. Now, as you may be aware, I'm a very self-aware person. I know my positives and I know my negatives, of which I shared very in the beginning of this video. There's a few reasons why I am aware of my faults. One of those reasons is that I have had in the past a lot of the same challenges, a lot of the same struggles. And if you go through life, and I am 43 years old, if you go through life with the same struggles day in and day out, it's very likely that your actions, your behaviors, your thought processes, what you say and do is causing those problems. You can't blame your problems on someone else if you are the constant variable. So I had to figure out what was causing all of the problems that I was having. Many of these problems were in relationships. It was my work, uh, my career. Many of the issues affected my career, um, affected my personal relationships with people, and there's just a lot of problems. Now, in a previous video, in that importance of self-awareness video, I talked about my the fact that I was very judgmental in the past and how I realized that it was really, it was making having relationships with people really difficult. So I had to decide to not be judgmental anymore and to actually work on that. That was not something that just came overnight. It is something that I had to look back on and realize that I was hurting my relationships because I was so judgmental. When friends didn't want to go out with me anymore, um, they didn't want to really tell me anything because they thought I was just going to judge them. And in the end, I actually was back then. I was judging everyone for everything. And I don't know why, I don't know how that came about in my life. I think it actually stems from my mother because she's an incredibly judgmental person. Um, so it was me learning to undo the negative behaviors and thoughts that I had grown up with. And that is hard. But when you're aware of it, you become acutely active in your thought process and changing it when negative thoughts come. So I was able to work that out and I'm way better now than I ever was. And pretty much when it comes to knowing yourself, there are a couple of ways to do that. One way is self-reflection. I'm very self-reflective, so I can see how my actions um, and my thoughts and my words affect things in the short term and the long term. But not everyone is like that. Not everyone is capable of being that way. Not everyone can see themselves. Everyone can see other people, but we always can't see ourselves. There's a second route you can take. You find five or 10 people in your life who love you, who adore you, who truly want the best for you and you actually talk to them about it. What you can gather from others, how they see you and how they feel you are based on their interactions with you, 
they can be honest and tell you this is who you are. If the majority of people you speak with are saying the same or similar things, you really need to take into account what they're saying. Maybe they're right. The great thing about that is that you don't have to just get the words that they're using to describe you. You can get examples of why they feel that way. The thing about that is you can't be sensitive. You can't be emotional. You have to take your emotions out of that conversation and think logically. If you truly want to change your life for the better and get out of the struggles that you're having, you're going to have to have the difficult conversations. You're going to have to hear the difficult ways that people are describing you. The one thing about talking to people who really care about you, about your own character, is that they may not want to hurt your feelings and so you may not get a 100% truthful answer from them. But I think that if you reiterate to them how important it is that they are honest with you because you're trying to make some positive changes, they will let you know what the good is and the bad. What five words would you use to describe me in a positive way? Then they give you five words and they're all lovey-dovey and great and you're happy to hear those. Absorb them, suck them in, because the second part is the hard part. Well now, what five negative words would you use to describe my character? And you're gonna get the, hmm, well, I don't think there's anything negative about you. Sister, please. Well, the other day, and they'll go into this story of wh how they feel you were being judgmental toward them. Now here, you don't wanna debate with them, you don't wanna explain yourself, you just wanna listen. This is a this is a conversation in which you're doing mostly just listening, truly hearing what people say. Your five people out of your five people, three people say the exact same thing or something similar about you. Take those into account and really sit down and say, okay, I got their, their opinions. I heard what they said as far as why they had that opinion of me. This is something that I don't want to be perceived as. I need to change this so I'm going to make efforts to do so. And that's it. Now let me put a caveat here. You don't have to worry about every little thing that everyone says. What you're looking for is common denominators. And guys, this really only applies if you are having struggles right now in relationships, in work, or in other aspects of your life. And when I say relationships, it could be with your parents, your siblings, your children, or your significant other. However, if life is grand and everything is good and you don't have any struggles and you don't feel like you need to get better at anything, then you just move along. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments below how many of you think this Know Thyself project would be good for you. Yay for a thumbs up, nay, thumbs down. Or again, just let me know in the comments below. That's all I have for you today, guys. Don't forget, look in the description box below to get my book, um, Fit After the Fall, what you need to know to restart your fitness journey after an injury. And I am gonna have another video up in a couple of days, so I will see you then. Have a great one and peace.